There are so many video game genres. In fact, there are so many that there's more genres in video games than there are of people in the entire world. Okay, fine, I'm exaggerating a little. But my point is that there are so many video game genres that if you don't like one genre, there's surely going to be another one that you'll probably like. But in terms of whether the game is 2D or 3D is a topic I thought was worth talking about. But which one would you prefer? 2D or 3D games? I personally think 3D games are superior, and no, we're not done yet. I will be here all week, you know. But as for why I think this is something I'll get into for today, I talked about something similar several months ago with why I prefer shorter games over longer games. Check it out if you want to see how wrong I am about that. But for today, I'll be getting into 2D and 3D games and why I think 3D games are superior. Let's begin. Two D games are absolutely awesome, and they were actually what introduced so many groundbreaking franchises to the video game industry in the entirety of the '80s and early '90s. Zelda, Metroid, Donkey Kong, Sonic, and of course, my favorite video game franchise of all time, Mario. <coughs> Of course, just because I mentioned that 3D games are better in my opinion doesn't mean I dislike 2D games. Far from it, I love these games, but I just don't love them as much as 3D games. But in the mid-90s, when all these classic 2D franchises made the jump to 3D with the Sony PlayStation, Nintendo 64, and the Sega Saturn, some franchises didn't make the jump as smoothly, showing that some franchises actually work better as 2D games. Now, most of which are franchises I've never actually played personally, but it was pretty obvious that some developers definitely struggled to bring some of their franchises to 3D, where others made the jump much more smoothly, and I would honestly say that these franchises work even better in 3D than in 2D. Mario and the Legend of Zelda, for instance. I love the 2D Mario games. Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario Land 2.6 Golden Coins, and Super Mario World is my favorite game of all time. But I really feel like the franchise just works better in 3D because you get a sense of exploration with these games and it just makes Mario's adventures feel a lot more memorable and makes them feel even more like an adventure than the 2D games. The same goes for Zelda as well. While the only 2D Zelda games I played was A Link to the Past, the original, and the remake of Link's Awakening, and that was the only one I finished, and here I am bringing it up for no apparent reason. I really should reevaluate everything I just said. But I just think the franchise works better in 3D, and just like Mario, it makes the adventures feel a lot more memorable and adventurous. But just because these franchises do well in 3D doesn't mean they ditch 2D installments entirely. Sonic Mania came out in 2017 in an era where most Sonic games that were released were 3D. But Sega still put out a 2D Sonic game and everyone loved it. And also Sonic Forces that everyone didn't like, but hey, the past is the past. Sure, when Mario 64 came out, 2D Mario was dead for a good 10 years. And even though 3D Mario is still going strong today, Nintendo is, at least I think they are, still putting out new Super Mario Bros. games. Yes, I know I hated on these games before, but they're still good games that are at an absolute blast to play in multiplayer. Sure, they're not as magical as the classic 2D Mario games, but they're still really good. And some franchises that are still going on are strictly 2D franchises like Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong has definitely tried his hand once at 3D games with Donkey Kong 64, but the Donkey Kong Country games have has always stayed in 2D. The first three games on Super Nintendo, fantastic trilogy. Easily some of the best games that Super Nintendo had to offer. But the modern Donkey Kong Country games, Returns and Tropical Freeze, are easily my favorite 2D platformers of the modern era of video games. Hey, it's the truth. The false fact alarm didn't approve of this. And Tetris 99 is a 2D puzzle game battle royale, and it's amazing. I'm sure you can see what I mean when I say I love 2D games but they're just not as good as 3D games in my opinion. Obviously, these are 2D games, which means they don't really feel like they're as immersive or the world is right in front of you because, again, these are 2D games, and titles like Super Metroid and most recently Metroid Dread are non-linear 2D games, which is totally fine because these games are still really good. But I just think 3D does non-linearity a bit better. And actually, some 3D games actually try to mix the linearity of 2D games with the 3D perspective of 3D games. Think new Super Mario Bros with the levels being 3D, but being set up like a 2D Mario level. And this isn't really something I'm the biggest fan of, because I like the more sandboxy 3D games more, but some games like Super Mario 3D World does it really well with incredible level design, awesome power-ups, and ridiculously fun multiplayer. But let's get back to the question I asked at the start. Why are 3D games better than 2D games in my opinion? 
Well, it's simple actually. With most 3D games, you get a sense of exploration, and for most of them, it truly makes the game you're playing feel more immersive and deep with its world, characters, and it makes you feel more like you're actually playing in the game itself, seeing the character you're playing as from the perspective of the camera angle you're at. But some 3D games aren't as immersive as others. Mario Party 9 is a 3D game, but it's a party game, and party games like this aren't really meant to be all that immersive. The same goes for other party games like Mario Kart, WarioWare, Get It Together, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. But it's Mario Party 9. I think I should give myself a reward just for mentioning that this game exists. But even though I prefer 3D games over 2D games, that's not to say 3D games are flawless. And the main problem with 3D games, at least the older ones, are how some of them just doesn't age very well at all. Especially when they're from the 90s. This is also the case with some older 2D games as well, and I could write a book about how some Atari 2600 games and other games from the early days of gaming didn't really age well either. But some older 3D games doesn't really age well either. Not all of them, but some of them. The original Star Fox is a perfect example of this. Now I'll admit, a 3D-ish game that looks like this on a system with mainly 2D games was pretty impressive in 1993. But man, everything ranging from the visuals, the frame rate, and even the controls in my opinion just doesn't hold up to the point where this game is pretty much unplayable nowadays. Again, it's impressive that a game like this was running on the Super Nintendo in 1993, but just play Star Fox 64 instead. It may be an older 3D game from the 90s as well, but it's more playable and also more fun. Plus it ages a lot better, which for a Nintendo 64 game from 1997, that's pretty impressive. The same sort of goes for GoldenEye 007 on the same system. Yes, I say this game is fun, but not the original Star Fox. What have I become? But while GoldenEye 007 overall as a game doesn't really age that good either, there are some elements of the game that makes it hard to return to in the modern era. It could still be sort of fun to play every once in a while. It's still kind of fun in multiplayer. But, and that leads me to my next statement. Most of these games that doesn't really age well can still be really fun to play. Even if they don't age well, it's just fun playing these games that bring you back to your childhood even if you'll still prefer playing the newer 2D and 3D games you have on your newer systems. It's still fun playing through these games that popularize these franchises that are still going strong today. But whether it's 2D or 3D, you're still bound to have a good time with these games. Even if one of them is Mario Party 9. Seriously, can someone just acknowledge the fact that I remember this game exists? But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please consider subscribing and checking out my other videos on my channel where you'll find more videos like this one. And I'll see you next time.